everybody. I told Elizabeth Kay that I would give you all a tour of my art studio. And <clears throat> so today I'm going to begin. Um, I'm not going to get this done in one video. <laughs> Uh, it's a busy room, as you can see, but we're going to do one little corner of it today. So, my art studio is located right near the bathroom, which is there, and the laundry room, which is there. And there's a laundry sink in that room, um, and it's off the kitchen. So, I'm very close by to any kind of um, water source or cleaning source that I might need um, during the course of an art project. Uh, it's mud season, so if my floors are dirty, that's why. So please excuse that. So when you come in the door, there's a bureau here. And um, I have a little uh, display case of stones, crystals. Um, that's a little um, right there is a little doll that I made. And those are the wands that I make. Um, there's some more wands. And so that sits there. There's some artwork of mine up on the wall. Um, in this bureau here, um, in the top drawer are watercolors, uh, brushes, bare brushes and watercolor paints. This is pastels and distress uh, ink pads in the bottom are oil paints, which I really don't dabble with, um, at all. So I probably should just clear that out and use that space. Then I have my art trash can. I have a tripod for my camera. This is a storage, uh, tray that I have some acrylics on. Those are soon to be moved. They're not going to hang there anymore. And then in this tray here, um, I have some books on top, some things waiting to go to my grandson. Um, but in these drawers here, this is all ephemera used for mixed media. So um, there's some stickers and some office type supplies, plastic bags, tags, um, photos, some wax, some specialty papers. You can you get the gist. Um, it's all ephemera kind of stuff oriental papers um some old books some old papers these are little um baking cups that i use for a particular project which i'll sh i'll show you a sample of in a minute if i remember there we go so that's what's all in there and if you see any <coughs> drawers or boxes that you want more detail on just put it in the comments and I can always open something up and show you so we're back coming around again um I have a bulletin board up there with some favorite um cards and things I've received um there's a spare chair I have some artist um board back there um it's like presentation board, a large art portfolio suitcase. That tote bag right there is full of artist pens. So Faber-Castell, Micron, uh, Tombow, um, some mechanical drawing pencils, uh, things like that. So that's where most projects begin out of that bag right there. Okay. And then this is a salon cart like you would see in a... Um, yeah, in a hair salon. And uh, this top thing's got a plastic bag full of scraps and bips and bobs for Valentine card making. This has got some cutting tools. This was my mother's old apron. Um, all kinds of cutting tools in there. A small portable light box, cutter, some more cutting tools, some wax beads, which I use uh, beeswax in my art quite a bit. And then in the very bottom, there's book binding stuff and um, a wood burning utensil. So that's in there. This is letter writing, <clears throat> correspondences. Um, up here, we have some um, acrylic paints 
and then some bead jars. Those are some wax crayons and my little monkey friend. I have a lot of friends in here, which you'll see as we go through. <clears throat> then this is just some storage down here. You can see that's pretty dirty. Um, and then I have this little wooden shelf and it's got washi tapes and glitters for the most part on it. Some that's, um, <clears throat> masking fluid. That's what I was trying to come up with. Uh, masking fluid. Um, there's some, uh, Cold wax medium. This is some snow, glitter snow, some distressing tools back there. That's what that all is on that. Another piece of artwork of mine. Then we come over. I have some uh, rubber stamps, some more artwork of mine. This is a little prayer area that I have in my studio for... Yeah. And then this, now we're over to my desk. Okay. This is Ellie. Ellie. And she's a friend here at the studio. There we go. And um, this is an old mechanics cabinet. And what I keep in it are um, my colored pencils. So, as you can see, there's colored pencils in there. More colored pencils. More colored pencils. And this drawer here has watercolor paints and watercolor um, ink pencils. So they're actually <clears throat> activated with water, but they're ink rather than um, paint. And those are one of my favorite art supplies. They're a little pricey, but they're worth every penny. And they last forever. And then in the bottom here, I have paint markers um, <clears throat> and some some sketching tools a small thing of colored pencils that was a gift came in a subscription box so things like that must be humid a little bit here today because those drawers don't usually close that difficult a couple of things sitting here on my desk <clears throat> this is a little bureau that collects um mixed media like um, I have drawers and drawers you'll see in the, um, I'll turn my little mushroom lights on, drawers and drawers of uh, mixed media jewelry and stuff that I use in art sometimes. And there's a little unicorn I made. There's some inks that I keep there. And there's some watercolors, my Windsor Newton watercolors. And down in this little thing, I'm trying to finagle stuff here. Let's see. We've got uh, pastels. These are ink blocks, so they're water activated. Um, you can either draw with them first and then activate them on the paper, or my preferred way is to just wet your brush and pull your color directly from the block and paint with it. They are luscious. Um, We've got the fabric castells, more um, pastels. I'm not a big pastel user. I use it once in a while to add something to some mixed media, but not a lot. These are the Neo um, Neo Color crayons. They're water solubles, so you can draw um, with them, and then you can uh, wet wet what you drew. Again, I like to use them straight from the top of the. Um, the crayon for color. I, I like that better. Yeah, so that's that. I'll give you a wider scope of the desk. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty crowded. I think most people that have a craft or art area, unless they're really fortunate to have a huge studio, um, tend to be crowded. Um, in behind here, which I don't get in there much, so it's okay if all this stuff is sitting there. But I do have a whole shelf that's got um, stuff on it. Name tags, stickers, push pins, rubber bands, my color wheel, um, 
that kind of thing. So it's back there, some positive affirmations. I got this cute little elephant from Thelma. Uh, I bought this from Mary Fitzgibbons online, a little monkey box. I love him. My little abacus. And um, yeah. Then over here, there's more uh, scissors, pencils, pens. These are erasable colored pencils for sketching, brushes, some oil type uh, dryer brushes, Chinese brushes. Those right there are my um, watercolor brushes, um, my watercolor jug. Then over here, I have a collection of, um, this is waiting to be hung. I just recently got this cute little owl. This is a collection of artist boxes, so plain air um, watercolor boxes. They were purchased in a flea market in France by my friend Beth, and I purchased them from her, and they're really beautiful. Sometime if you want a tour of those, I could show those to you. Then this box here, I keep washi tape in. This has got glass, um, <clears throat> like pendants in it that I'm getting ready to do a project with. This is a Chinese um, ink, inking stone. Um, over here, oh, these are what, um, these are the kind of things I make with those little cupcake. Um, you push them down and then glue them together and you can make these kind of things out of them. These weren't made out of those, but that's what you make with those. Then I've got like little boxes that are full of um, for the beads, this one's all Halloween beads. These are all vintage stick-on things. Yep. And I love old boxes, so. Down in here are my Faber-Castell pip markers. I'm not a big marker person. I prefer pencils and paints over markers, so that's why they're down in there. I don't get them out very much. So, so let me just back up here, give you a scope of what we've just seen. We came around. We saw the desk. Down here, I have um, some books that I'm working on currently. This is a little cupboard. <coughs> some books with positive uh, quotes on them. This is a charger. Then I've got some more books. And then these little drawers here, um, this top one's got a whole mishmash of stuff stuck in there. Stuff I grab often. This has got tools, cutting tools, jewelry tools, blades. The bottom two have distress type paints in them. So that's the desk area. I guess the next time I film, I'll come in. We'll start over here and we'll go around uh, the room that way and attack that whole big mess <laughs> and we'll eventually make our way around. So I hope you've enjoyed. Talk to you soon.